So question one, five marks, lines in a triangle. First question in paper two of the 2023 higher maths. You're given this triangle, PQR, there are the coordinates. Find the equation of the altitude from P. And if you couldn't remember what that was, it draws a little picture to show you. The only thing it doesn't show in is the fact that if it's an altitude, that's a right angle. You'd probably remember that by thinking that doesn't look anywhere near the middle. Right, three marks just for doing that, so it's a equation of a line. You need a point on it, well I've got that, so I just need its gradient. Now to get its gradient, I don't have another point, but you've got the line QR. So you can compare it to the gradient of QR. So QR, I'm just going to use them here. So it'll be 3 take away the 8 over the 13 take away the negative 2. So that's a negative 5 over it, and that'll be plus 2, so that's 15, which means the gradient of QR is negative a third. Looks like that, shall we down? Now from that, you can get the gradient of PR. Now you can make the weak statement. You could say that the, the perpendicular one times the gradient itself should come to negative 1, which means that the perpendicular gradient, the gradient of the line you need, is going to be 3 the negative of the reciprocal, and then just pop it in. So, here's the line. Y minus, now it's P, I'm using this point. Y minus the Y coordinates, that'll be Y plus 1, is the gradient times X minus the X coordinate. There's not a lot in this, is there? So that's 3X minus the 15, but then minus another 1, so minus 16, and that's it. Part B said, what's the angle that the side PR makes with the positive direction of the x-axis? So what's this angle in here, if you just call it theta? Well, you know the distance along, you know the distance up. So you're just going to use the tangent, which effectively just means distance up over distance along. What's the gradient? So in part B, you know that the tangent of that angle will be the gradient of PR. So it's PR, so it's these two. So it'll be the 3 plus the 1. 13 take away the 5. So that's a 4 over an 8, which is a half. Which means that the angle is going to be the inverse tan of a half, or 0.5. And popping that in gives you 26.56 and so on. I'll just put it over here. 26.565 and so on. So we'll say that this angle is going to be 26.6 degrees. So number two then for four marks, equation of a tangent to a curve. That's that little standard then, and it's a particularly easy example of that little standard, though x is only one here. So, to get the equation of a tangent, that's a line. You need a point on it. Well, there's the x-coordinate, and there's the coordinate equation, so that'll give you the y-coordinate. You need the gradient, differentiate it. And that'll be 10x to the 4 minus 3, giving the gradient. So now I've got these two equations. I'll put x as 1 into this one, so using number 1, x equals 1 means that y is going to be 2 times 1 to the power 5. You can see the answer because it's only 1s, isn't it? 2 minus 3, so it's minus 1. So the point is 1, negative 1. Using equation 2, if you put 1 into the second equation, you'll get the gradient. You can see it before you write it down again because it's just 1. To the power 4, minus 3, so 10, take away 3, so that's 7. Now you just put it all together. So y minus the y coordinate, I'll just put it as plus 1, is the gradient 7 times x minus the x coordinate. So y is 7x minus 7 minus another one minus 8, and that's it. Wasn't a lot to that, was there, for the four marks? Gradient 7, coordinate.
Number three for two marks, carry out this integration. It might look scary because of the cosses and the pies in it, but there's really not a lot to it. You just need to see what would differentiate to produce a cos. That would be a sign. It would produce a positive cos, so all is fine. Ooh. Of whatever. And the coefficient, of course, just remains the same. But since it's not a simple sign x, but a sign of something, if you were differentiating, you would have multiplied by the derivative of that linear part, which is a 4. So here you're going to divide by a 4. And don't forget plus c, because that disappears. So you lose contact with that when you differentiate. So the answer to this is just simply 7 upon 4 sine of 4x plus pi upon 3. And don't forget to add on a constant.